beginning of today's cabinet session, Prime Minister Tehumi Oreshkovic commented on the European Commission's spring economic forecast for Croatia, saying that he thought Brussels would revise upwards their projection of 1.8% GDP growth after the government's national reform programme had been implemented. Also today, the government adopted a decision to abandon the use of seals and stamps in state bureaucracy, which will make doing business simpler. Economy Minister Tomislav Panenic said the move would result in savings of 5.9 million kuna. The only other countries to use stamps in the EU are Ireland and Greece. The Parliamentary Committee for Internal Affairs and National Security has given the thumbs up for Daniel Markic's appointment as the new head of the Security and Intelligence Agency. At today's closed session, six members of the committee voted for Markic, while four voted against him. The agency's previous boss, Dragan Lozancic, resigned earlier this week, three months after President Kolinda Grabakitarovic initially called for his replacement. Speaking on Croatian radio this morning, Justice Minister Ante Sparlje said that the situation in the judiciary was not good and that was why there would be reforms, which would strengthen efficiency, transparency and judicial independence. He said that amendments to a number of laws were being prepared, among them amendments to the distraint law, in terms of protecting the value of the property in question. The European Commission has lowered its forecast of Croatia's GDP growth in its latest economic forecast. The so-called spring forecast envisages growth in Croatia of 1.8% down from 2.1%. The main reason is a drop in public investment in the final quarter of last year. Brussels believes that Croatia's growth in 2016 will depend primarily on the implementation of its national reform programme, which it considers to be ambitious. Sport and in tennis, Croatian Borna Coric has reached the second round of the ATP tournament in Madrid. He defeated local player Nicolas Almagro 6-2, 6-2. His next opponent is world number one, Novak Djokovic of Serbia, and this will be their first encounter. At the same tournament, Ivo Kalovic lost in the first round to the American Denis Kudla, despite having two match points. The final score was 6-7, 7-6, 7-6. Meanwhile, Croatia's Mirjana lucic baroni was defeated in the second round of the women's tournament by the German Laura Sigamund. The score was 6-2, 3-6, 6-3. And in volleyball, the third match in the final playoff series for the Croatian championships between Mladost Marina Kastela and Zagreb's Mladost will be held this evening. So far, the score in the best of five series is one all. There will be live coverage of tonight's game, which begins at 6.45 p.m. This afternoon's forecast calls for cloudy weather inland with a little rain and the odd rain shower in places. On the coast it will be partly sunny with the chance of isolated rain showers on the northern and southern Adriatic coast. There will be an occasional moderate northerly and northeasterly wind inland with a moderate to strong northeasterly burra wind on the coast. On the open seas there will be a moderate to strong northerly and northwesterly wind. Highest daily temperatures will be between 12 and 17 degrees Celsius inland and between 17 and 20 degrees on the coast. Over the next few days, it'll be partly sunny inland and it'll gradually become warmer. It will continue to be unstable. On the coast, it'll be partly to mostly sunny and relatively warm. On Saturday, there'll be a moderate build-up of cloud and there is the chance of rain showers, especially on the northern coast. Winds will be light to moderate, northerly and northwesterly, while on Saturday, there'll be a southwesterly wind, which will turn to a southeasterly yugo towards the end of the day. 